I'm as ready as I can be. So opponent change, last minute pullouts, chopping changing, it doesn't make me any less ready than I am. Do you know what I'm saying? It doesn't affect anything that I have done. It doesn't do anything. The only thing it's, that changes is there's someone different in front of me and they can pit whoever the fuck they want in front of me and I'll go right through them. It is sold out. All officially sold out like yesterday or something. Yeah, it's sold out again. And to be able to be just such a young fighter coming up and th there's, there's, there's superstars, there's ch world champions that cancel I chose. Do you know what I mean? And then I just breeze in here three, two and a half years in the promotion. Second main event, I have two of them sold out in a row. Do you know what I mean? There's very few people that are doing that. Jimmy show's back on. Um, you've got yourself a replacement opponent at, at late notice. I mean, first off, how grateful are you to the fact that Roman's been able to step in and uh, take the fight on such short notice? Yeah, 100%. Grateful for him, for him coming over and stepping up, do you know what I mean? And and stuff, but he's the one that has to be grateful. He's the one that's stepping up. He's the one that's getting his chance to shine. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I've built this from scratch. I've built this up for myself. And he's the one now that's stepping into you the chances at main event slot. He's the one that has to be grateful. And in terms of the career, I know we mentioned about potentially fighting over in the States. Bellator have got a nice working relationship with Rising these days as well. Is that something that, that appeals maybe going over there and facing, facing Kyoji over in, uh, in Japan? It's the only way I'm going to fight this year again. Absolutely, man. Yeah, we definitely didn't make this long fight to lose, that's for sure. We came here ready to win and uh, put a game plan together real quick in the weekend. Stylistically, I match up really well against James, so I'm really excited for Friday night. I can see myself winning it. Time with him for the first round, so picking him apart, making him miss, he's going to be eager, swinging, and his range is not going to be there. And then I'm going to come out in the lit, 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 the first round and pit it on him, starch him, and pit him away. I could see myself winding him or something, and him wincing, quitting, being broke, and me landing heavy, heavy shots on the floor, taking his back and choking him. So I, can, I can see it going like that. Yeah, we were preparing for 135, so we had the, you know, the entire camp waiting up and everything. We were eating for 135, uh, preparing to hit that number. Then with uh, with Cal having to pull and get the new replacement, they put it at 140. So, you know, we just kind of kept doing what we were doing and, and just kind of use that as an advantage that it's five pounds less that we have to cut. So everything is going a little bit smoother. We were able to, you know, we didn't wax, you know, get relaxed. We didn't really change anything. We just kept doing, you know, as we were so we could uh, stay on track, but we just kind of know it was a bit of an emotional advantage to know that that was that less, uh, that much less work that we don't have to put in, but we're willing to put in.
Salazar Gallagher, tomorrow night's main event of the 